Hey guys, today I'm going to be upgrading my audio setup, so let's check that out and see how it goes. So here I've got the M Audio M Track, which is the USB mic in to the computer. This is the Audio Technica AT2020, which is the cardioid condenser microphone that I'm going to be putting into the M Audio, which connects via USB. And this is the XLR cable that's going to connect it all. So let's take a look. This is the M Audio M Track. Uh, so this is going to convert the microphone signals into a digital signal to go into the computer. So So this is the Audio Technica AT2020. Uh, a couple of guys who've been on my live stream have all suggested that this is the microphone that I get. And after doing some research myself, I found much the same. The AT2020 is a cordioid condenser microphone, uh, which is just about the way that it works. This says it's, according to the side of the box here, custom engineered low mass diaphragm provides extended frequency response. Just got a, a picture of some bamboo over here. Not really sure what that's about. Uh, some graphics on the side. The back has almost nothing on it. Here you can see everything that you get in the box. And that includes the cardioid condenser microphone, uh, a bag, and some sort of clip stand to hold it. So let's get inside of it. Here's some registration information. Some information about this. It's a 2 to 20,000 hertz microphone, which is pretty cool. Uh, it shows the pattern, which it picks up the best audio, which is great. That'll tell me how best to set this thing up. Cool, let's have a look. So there's the microphone itself. Oh, I can actually see the microphone inside of there. So it looks like this is the front. That's the front, that's the side that should face me. This is, ah, and actually it says on it, back. Let me just show you that. What I'll do is I'll hang this this way. Just over here somewhere. All right. And then I've got this Audio Technica pencil case. Not much else in there. Pretty simple packaging. This has some sort of texturized Audio Technica thing written on the front of it. Inside of here is the stand. And this, oh, it's uh, the converter to turn this from a 5 8 into a 3 8 uh, Not that I have either of those, but it will be useful if ever I set this up on an arm. And that, uh, this will obviously help screw it in to the bottom of the microphone like that. So if I had a little stand to put this on, that's how I would put it together. Cool. The last thing is this five foot XLR cable. And I'll need that to plug, in, plug the microphone directly into the, still not really sure what that is. It's like a microphone amp. But it's not really an amp, it's, what, what exactly is it? It, it actually, if, if, the, if you use the, the line outputs, it will yeah. act as an amplifier because the line level of, um, uh, that you need in most audio devices is higher than a, than a mic will deliver. Okay. So yes, it can amplify. Yes, it can do a digital to analog conversion. And it also provides you the ability to mix levels between two, two inputs. Two different sources. And it has an overall master level as well. Cool, and like you say, the 48 volt here. I'm just I don't actually have audio for this part since I'm using my camera and I don't have a microphone yet set up, but there I'm showing the 48 volt, which is called phantom power for this, this part. And you need the phantom power to be able to power the cordioid microphone, which is what I'll be up to in just a second. Let's plug it all in, see what happens. The, uh, <coughs> are you recording just now? I, just I mean, it's, it's still recording, but... Okay, the, uh, the, 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 the cardioid gives you a, a narrower field of yeah. reception so that uh, you don't get too much extraneous noise in there. Yeah, um, but which, is, which is, in our application, is good and bad. It's good for when I'm here, it'll improve the richness of my voice, I hope. But the bad is, when we step away from it, 
or when I'm over at the table, for example, the microphone won't be able to pick me up anymore. You should be able to use this microphone from about uh, 17 feet away. Okay. You, 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 we should do a test. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you should try standing right over there. And uh, because it's more directional, uh, that will actually give you a longer reach. Okay. So uh, not, an Omni would only give you the ability to be really right close around to it. it. Yeah. Um, but then it's recording every damn thing. Mm. Whereas with this one, you can go further away. But we should do a test on the other side of the room. Cool. Let's do that. Once we've set it up. Once we've set it up. Well, guys, after much excitement and restarting the computer, basically I think I've got this sorted. Thanks very much to today's special guest, Trevor, for helping me sort it out. It was his voice that you got to hear throughout, uh, hearing the different explanations and uh, reasons why things were going wrong. Actually, you won't hear any of the reasons that things were going wrong because I'm going to edit all that out. All you're going to hear is the beautiful dulcet sounds of my voice. Thanks very much for tuning in this week, guys. Trev, do you want to say anything? Just it's been an unmitigated pleasure helping out you. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, guys, well, thanks again for tuning in. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section below. If you've had any dealings with the M-Audio or the Audio Technica AT2020, of course, do let us know below. Uh, if you'd like, all of the links to these products will be found in the uh, About section below, all the links to Amazon, that is. Thanks again for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you guys around soon.